When you first start out on Colmac, you'll probably come across Dreamer's big bag of keyboard tricks. As a beginner, you can easily get frustrated as you fall into a rabbit hole of Colmac forum posts when you just want to start using Colmac. This video will help you on the basics on setting up Colmac on Windows using Dreamer's EPKL. However, it will not go into depth into every detail of the software. Without further ado, let's begin. Firstly, you'd want to head over to the GitHub repository for EPKL. You can either get it from the description of this video, or you can head over to Draymar's posts on the Colmac forum and access the link from there. The link to the Colmac forum page will also be provided in the description so you can have a read around the topic. Once you've gotten to the GitHub, you'd want to press the big green button and download it as a zip file. Locate the downloaded file and extract it. In this case, I'll be using 7-zip. You don't really need the leftover zip file, so you can delete that if you want. And there you go, now you have your very own copy of EPKL. Once you click into the file, you're going to see a whole bunch of, a whole list of files. All I want you to do right now is to cl double click on compile EPKL.bat. All this does is generate the program itself, and once that's done, just press any key, and it should be running. You can tell that it's running because you should have a new icon pop up in your tray bar. It also generated a little diagram of the keyboards, but you can see that it's completely blank. And what that means is we just haven't configured anything. So the easiest way to do that is you're going to go into your tray bar, right click on the icon, and then click on layout slash settings. What you're going to do here is just choose your keyboard layout. For in my case, I want to use Colmac DH. So the main layout is going to be Colmac. Layout type, from what I know, uh, VK or virtual key, it just moves the keys around, whereas ED, it sets the key itself to the desired output. To be honest, I don't really know the practical differences between ED and VK, uh, so I'll just choose ED because it's always worked for me. Keyboard type, I'm using an ANSI keyboard. I'm not going to choose a variance. Uh, for mods, I'm going to choose curl angle because that's exactly what DH is. And once you're done, just click on submit override. Right here, you're just going to press OK. Um, right, just line it. And yes, click, click OK as well, and let it refresh. Now you should see three things that's changed. Number one, the icon has changed. Number two, you have a new diagram. And number three, you'll see that there's a new file called EPKL layouts override. Now if you open the file, you're gonna see there's a line called layout equals and then Colmac, blah, 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 blah. This is pretty important and we're gonna modify this later, but for now we're gonna close the file and just leave it be. A lot of people also prefer to be able to access a second layout. In my case, I still want to use QWERTY with the extend features and everything that EPKL offers. To do that, you right click on the icon and go back to layout slash settings. You're just going to fill out the window again, but this time it's just going to be QWERTY. So you choose QWERTY, layout type is going to be ED, keyboard type ANSI, variant none, mods none, and then just click submit override. It's going to press OK and refresh OK. Now you notice that the keyboard and the icon changed again, um, and it just turned into QWERTY. Right here, I want to use Colmac DH and QWERTY side by side, so we're going to go back to the file, and you'll see that we now have two lines uh, for layouts. What I'll do here is take the previous one, which is Colmac, copy this link right over here, and paste it right in front of QWERTY. And to separate them, just use a comma. This is perfect, so we're going to go to File, Save, and Close. Oh, I forgot. Before we continue, I just want to mention that the language that we're using is auto hockey, and the semicolons here are used for commenting the lines out. So this line right here is not part of the code, so you don't have to worry about it. In fact, if you prefer to take this out, then you can do that if you wish. So just press save and close it again. And finally, what you want to do is refresh the program. So you're going to go to your icon, right click it, and click refresh. You'll see that the icon and the keyboard changed back to Colmac. But what's different this time is if you right click on your icon, you'll see that there's a new tab called layouts and you can change between Colmac and QWERTY. You can also change between them by pressing Control shift 2 uh, Lastly, let's take a quick look at the default settings for EPKL. For this, you want to go to the file called EPKL settings default. Firstly, you'll see that there are some hotkeys. These are pretty well explained and self-explanatory, so if you want to use any of them, you can just follow the hotkeys that are written after the semicolons. Next, you'll see certain settings for certain features. Just as an example, I want you to focus on show help image. 
This refers to that little image of the keyboards uh, at the bottom of the screen, which pops up every time you open the program. Personally, I don't need to look at it when I'm typing, so I'm gonna change this to yes to no. For anything else, just have a read through and see if there's anything else you wanna change. But for now, I'll not change anything else. So I'll go to file, save, and close the file. And if you go to your icon and click refresh, you'll see that the keyboard doesn't appear anymore. That should be enough for you to work your way around to EPKL. If you need to know anything else, I can try and answer it in the comments, but if it's something very specific, then I recommend just hopping onto the Colmac Discord and asking Draymar directly. All right, thanks.